Okay, wow, this is really close. Sorry, y'all. It's super close. You get to see all my neck wrinkles. It's great. Um, it is 12.20. I got a little bit of a late start today. Because my dear Cheryl, um, God love her, she had rosé all day uh, for me. She made me an amazing dinner. Um, my favorite, pasta pesto. Um, we gabbed, we chatted, and uh, we had a great time. So instead of waking up at 7.30 a.m., woke up at 9. Got out of the house just before uh, 10. It's 12.21 now. I want to say I'm a hundred and something. I'm, uh, I think I've driven 117, 127 miles. I have 340 to go before I come at you, Miss Mega Manheim. Um, I'm going to try to make it to Bend before eating. Washington is really pretty. Ain't going to lie. It is great. Lots of water, watering mechanisms. Saw some wind turbines. Um, it's interesting going from literally like luscious trees to really high deserty like hills. And then you randomly see like a vineyard. And then you randomly see like nothing. And then you see a house that looks like it belongs in like architectural digest. And then you see a trailer with a Trump 2020 sign. I mean, I expected it. I mean, I'll say it didn't stop. Um, but yeah, so... I misjudged my timing. I thought I was only 367 miles from Ashland, Oregon. Not 467 miles. So... Um, right now, projected, if I do not stop, is 7.30 p.m., to stop. I'm so tired. I'm going to have to get out, stretch, give myself some love. Uh, maybe do this thing called eat. Um, I did, I admit. I had two egg McMuffins and two hash browns. Because uh, this, this girl was running late. Um, but there's a lot of straight, not straight, a lot of roads that are just, it's a lot of trucks. I haven't seen this many 18 wheelers since I left Boston. Um, and, um, and clearly no one in these parts know how to use cruise control. So, I, like, they go, like, 90 miles down hills and, like, 40 miles uphill. And, of course, they're always going super fast when I can actually pass them, and they're going super slow when I can. I mean, first world problems. Uh, my car, Mary the Mazda, is killing it mileage-wise. Like, she's so mileage awesome. Um... I never realized how good she was until I did this trip. So I reset my average miles per gallon. Um, oh, I don't know what I'm doing here. I think I had to change the station. Um, she's currently, Mary, is currently getting an average 38.1 miles per gallon. Like, that's brilliant. Um, I did. I had to get my first gas because I was running late yesterday. Also, never usually this late, but I was late. Um, I had to get gas um, near Sunkadia Lodge. Um, thank you, QFC Fuel, Fuel Points, for saving me 20 cents. And thank you, Nathan and Amy, for the Shell gift cards for my going away. Uh, cause that filled up one car basically filled up my tank. Cause it was like, even with my rewards, I think it was 367 a gallon. It was like, ugh. I just filled up in some podunk town called Tapanish, Tup, Tup, something. And, um, it was 279 a gallon. I mean, I don't, there was no brand of gas. So for all I know, I put water in my car, but, um, clearly the car is working. So, 
I'm just gonna. Yep. Um, I've been rocking out to Sirius FM. Anyone who has never had Sirius, and anyone going on this crazy road trip like I am, you absolutely, positively have to sign up for Sirius. And what's even better, you get like four months free. Or like for 99 cents or something stupid. Then you don't have to renew it because your trip's going to be done. Um, I have been rocking out to the 80s. There are still so many songs that I know. And then I actually, when I was packing up my house, I found all my old CDs from like college. Yeah. So I have not listened to Ani DeFranco's Little Plastic Castle. I still remember every single word. That is how much of a lesbian I was in college. Um, I loved being a lesbian in college. <laughs> Indigo Girls, Alanis Morissette. sweating to death right now. So I'm gonna peace out. I think that's all there really is. I mean, it's only two. Technically, it's only day one. I mean, yesterday was sort of a day. But yesterday, I was, like, wrapping up my house. It was a shit show. Um, which probably should have used the, the S-bomb, but whatever. Um, but yeah. So, um, I'm actually getting into a sort of town. I think it's called Goldenrod or Goldenwood or I don't think it has gold in it. Last I checked, um, I'm just seeing fields of nothing and wind turbines. I'm um, sorry, my angle's really wonky. I bought this thing on Amazon um, and it's not as long as I want. The light part is really long, the attachment part. So you're literally just like, I mean. If you want to, you can give me a hickey at this present moment, I think. Um, I'll try to find a better angle um, when I actually get a decent night's sleep. That's not wine-ridden and uh, missing my REMs. Um, but anyway, uh, Cheryl, if you're watching this, thank you. I had such a good time. Um, and you have to set me up with your uh, with your gay son because he's cute. For everyone else out there, he's a trucker. He's one of the really cute truckers. Jacked, dude. Mm. So, um, and it's great because I always I think a perfect relationship for me would be a guy who is on the road a lot. And so I have a lot of alone time. And then when they are in town, wow, there's some dust. Um, oh, because there's a thresher. Reminds me of Drop Dead Gorgeous that Tammy likes to drive on the thresher with the smoke. Um, by the way, if you haven't watched, watched it, Gorgeous, uh, Drop Dead Gorgeous, it is now streaming, I believe, on Hulu or Netflix, one of the two, and you have to watch it. That is an iconic, iconic movie. So good. Denise Richards. Oh, amazing. Anyway. All right. Now I'm just bambling, rambling, and whatever, but holy wind turbines, it's like Silicon Valley. Um, I love you guys. Um. And I will try to keep you in touch with what I'm doing tomorrow, which is going to be the drive. I think I have to verify with uh, my friends Dulce and Cedric, but going from Ashland, Oregon to San Francisco. I think that's going to be a significantly less daunting drive. But then the next day after that, I'm going from San Fran to Las Vegas. That's like 540 miles. So doing that alone is going to be daunting. But you'll, you'll be getting a video long after I finish the drive. Like this one, because I'm not posting this until God knows what. Um, but I just want to make sure you all know I'm alive. Alright, uh, you guys are great. I'm going to peace out now. And turn my air conditioner because I'm sweating.
sweating balls because it's 80 degrees. All right, bye.